So let me ask you this. In the aftermath of the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan, it is my view, it's more important than ever, that Cigar be able to perform his duties in an independent manner, and I, un I underline and emphasize independent, without interference. So do I have your commitment to ensure that Cigar is able to continue doing its work free from interference from anybody, including your office, if you're confirmed? Senator Hawley, I'm not familiar with all the background you described, but I can tell you that I've spent my entire time in the IG community uh, working with other IGs collaboratively to try to advance oversight. So whether that's with Cigar or other IGs who might have uh, you know, interest in that very important space, I would anticipate working collabor collaboratively as appropriate. That's not quite the answer I'm looking for. I, I want a commitment from you that Cigar will be able to do its work free from interference from, from your office if you're confirmed. I don't believe yes. any IG should interfere with the work of another IG, and, and certainly if I'm confirmed, I'll make sure that doesn't happen. I would do everything I could to ensure that we're working collaboratively and cooperatively as appropriate. Okay, so, so that's a yes. You will not, if you're confirmed, you will not in any way interfere or undermine the independence of Cigar, who does not report to you under current that, Well, that's, I'm sorry, that's, that's what I'm trying to get at, is they yeah. don't report to me, so okay. I don't have any jurisdiction over them. Good. But I certainly You won't try to absorb them, you won't try to, 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 to take away their... I'm not familiar with any issues like that, Senator, about jurisdiction. So um, my understanding is... Well, I'm not asking if you're familiar or not. I I'm asking you what your intentions are, and what I would like to hear, and would hope to hear, this should be an easy question, is that you will not interfere with Cigar in any way. You will let them continue to be independent. You will not engage in any mission creep from your office that would seek to undermine Cigar's independence and authority. Can you say yes to that? I certainly would not do anything yes that would interfere with the independence and operations of another IG. When you talk about mission creep, I just want to be completely clear. There are many times in the IG community are issues regarding who's going to work on what. Right? And so what I'm committing to you to do is that if there are such issues, I would work with the other IG, with my team and with their team, to determine what the right result is. So um, that's, I don't, I, I'm not in a position to give you any more specific answer, but um, that's the way I've always worked in the IG community, and if I'm confirmed, it's the way I will work. Let, let me ask you this. Do, do I have your commitment to support this committee's efforts and others' efforts to fully investigate DOD's role in the disastrous Afghanistan withdrawal, including by, this is the important part, conducting your own investigation, sharing data, and any other relevant measures. Would you commit to working with us? So I, I would be pleased to work with the committee to identify any and all areas for appropriate oversight, and certainly will report robustly to the committee regarding the results of that. I can't, and I'm not in the position to identify particular areas at this time, but both in our role as the, as the lead IG uh, for OFS and generally with jurisdiction over all programs and department uh, operations of the department, we would examine any appropriate issues. Let's come back to Cigar for a second. Yes. Cigar has, has long reported that DOD has overclassified information regarding Afghanis the Afghan forces performance and other aspects of the Afghanistan reconstruction effort, including limiting Cigar's ability to provide the American people with a full account because of this. Do you share Cigar's concerns about overclassification related to the Afghanistan reconstruction effort? And now that that has, effort has ended, would you support efforts to declassify as much of that information as possible? So I'm not familiar with specific concerns in that area. I will tell you as a general matter, I have worked very hard to promote transparency uh, and to do everything I can to fight over classification. I don't think things should be marked E for embarrassing or anything like that. We've, as I said, we've gotten good support at NSA and our oversight work there. And if I'm confirmed, I'm going to keep working to promote transparency. So when it comes to cigar specific concerns about overclassification over a period of, of years and decades, you're not familiar with that? You don't have a view on that? No, and nor do I believe it would be appropriate for me to express one. I haven't been confirmed, but if I'm confirmed, I certainly will look into the issue and I'll commit to you that we'll do the right thing on it. I'm happy to engage with you on any specific issues. Well, it's, are you concerned, when you say you, you, you don't think it would be appropriate to express a view, I mean, are you willing to express a view on the dangers of overclassification? I mean, here's what I'm getting at. I've, I've heard multiple members of this committee since the fall of Afghanistan say that it's unbelievable that we didn't know that the Afghan security forces were so badly prepared. I mean, who could have thought that they would have, that they would have collapsed in the fashion they did? I tell you who could have thought it, Cigar. 
Why? Because they issued report after report saying that the Afghan security forces weren't appropriately trained, that they weren't prepared, that the, the Pentagon was making it difficult for Sagar to get any information, that DOD kept changing the metrics by which to assess the readiness of the Afghan security forces. Sagar has warned for years that what would happen in Afghanistan is exactly what did happen. So I think it's important that that entity be able to get the information it needs and actually report to the American people. Because frankly, I think the American people were pretty much lied to for years by multiple administrations, unfortunately, multiple administrations of both parties, unfortunately. So I'm pretty concerned about this issue. And I, what I'd like to hear from you is a commitment to say that you think that overclassification is a real problem, that you're going to work with Cigar to make sure that they can get the classified material that they need, and that ultimately we make as much of this material as possible to the American public, available to the American public. Can you commit to that? Senator, I am committed to doing everything I can in my current job, and if I'm confirmed in a future job as the DOD IG, to fighting overclassification and ensuring that all appropriate information is out. What I was trying to say respectfully is I don't have the information currently as the NSA IG regarding the nature of information at DOD IG or CIGAR. But what I can tell you is if I'm confirmed, I will do everything appropriate to fight over classification and ensure that appropriate information is made public. My time has expired. I'll, I'll have some additional questions for the record for the rest of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.